What's up everyone, Ryan here and EA Sports PGA Tour just added Oak Hill as a new playable course in the game and today I'm going to be playing this course for the first time and of course Oak Hill is the host of the 2023 PGA Championship which is set to start here in just a few days and my pick for that tournament this year is Tony Finau. So of course today I'm playing my first full 18 holes on this course as Tony Finau and we're playing on true simulation settings no green grids no wind elevation information we're playing this as tough as we can get it here to simulate really the pga championship as we take a look at the conditions 8 to 12 miles per hour wind the reason i chose that because i looked up the weather for the pga championship thursday round which is an average of nine miles per hour wind we're playing true tournament conditions we have thursday pin location set but it is time. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. And subscribe for plenty more EA Sports PGA Tour content. I have tons of content already live for this game on the channel. If you wanted to see more and plenty more coming in the future. But let's go ahead and get on out to the course. Now from the fabled East Course at Oak Hill Country Club. This is EA Sports continuing coverage of the world of golf it is time hole number one of the pga championship here we are simulating this we are tony finau on thursday let's see if we can take the lead you all when you're watching this if you watch it past thursday after the first round's already happened you can compare it to the tony finau's actual round in real life and make your predictions in a comment down below who's your picks for the pga championship this year I am so pumped for the next major. There is nothing like major tournaments. Let's send it. That's a good drive to start the day. And that is just what you're envisioning when you're on the range. That's positioned nicely in the right side of the fairway. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 122 two is the number. Pin on the right hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. Let's get the caddy book out. 113 to the front of the green, 135 to the back. We could attack this pin. Gonna switch the finesse shot full loft here and send this one. The wind's gonna affect this quite a bit. 8 to 12 miles per hour wind. And this is looking really good. Beautiful golf shot. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. So they added the new camera this week to where when you hit Y, when you're on simulation settings, when you're within 70 yards, you can still simulate a zoom like you would as a golfer. And if you click, for me, it's the left stick in, I can change to the low camera. And you can act, you can move the left stick up and down. But for me, it's left stick. It may be right for you. Get a much better view of the green. So ball is above the feet here. Looks like a steady right to left. That was a much needed camera change. Here we go. What a star. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie. And it's into red figures now at one under par. Tony Finau is winning this tournament. Let's go, Finau. A little bit slow on the swing. That's okay. It's in the sand, right? That's unfortunate. And that is into the bunker. So birdie at the first, but it'll be hard-pressed, Frank, to make birdie from there, I would think. Yeah, it's not out of the question, though, Rich. You know, with a good second shot, he should still be able to get this on the green. So we are 70 yards away, uphill quite a bit. We don't know the exact amount here. Going to probably hit the lob wedge with old D-loft on it. Pretty good line, 90 to 95%. Should be able to put this one pretty close. It all depends on how much uphill this really is, though. Not bad at all. We're on the dance floor. 
We talk so much about that dreaded long bunker shot, and that was played beautifully. I would take that any day of the week. This view is so nice. Now, if you all are wondering if you're playing on these settings, once you get to the view, you can use the D-pad to move around, like up and down to see more, and also the right stick up and down, and also move it around and see the break from the other side. This one's tough. It, to me, it looks like a steady right to left, but when you do that, don't forget to reset your distance <laughs> back to the cup and it's so easy to forget to do that, actually. Slight downhill. Let's send it. Yeah, I crushed it. I felt that one. No, kind of underread that one, and it winds up missing below the hole. Wasn't a terrible shot. I've had worse okay, putts. That one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. You couldn't ask for a better start here. One under through the first two holes. The fans are electric here. Tough pin location. 221 to the front of the green. We can't really attack this very much. I'm actually going five iron. Trying to land it on the front part of the green. And just give herself a putt. I just don't see a way to attack this pin. Be interested to see what Tony right, Finau does in real life there. Long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. This will require the full attention. A huge swing left to right on this putt. Just trying yeah. to get it in there close. There is a whole lot of break here. Ball is well below the feet. It's left to right most of the way. And it might come back at the end. It's really hard to tell. But this is uphill quite a bit. I'm going to aim like 15 feet past the hole just to be safe. And aim a lot to the left. Oh, what a putt. Okay. I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. What a putt. So close. I thought that one was in. The ball was above the feet. We actually just saw this break. Don't think about it. Just send it. Yep, well judged there, and it's back-to-back -back pars following that opening birdie. Good news is we read that putt to perfection there. See if we can send this ball right over these trees, full loft. Let the wind blow it left to right. It's actually the perfect win for Just that tee shot. Want at this point in the round, you're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. We're left with 243 here. In location is in the back right. That's a tough pin. I think we just got to go to get this one on the green. Probably an approach four iron. Or attack it. <laughs> that was not my intentions there. That wind Certainly ripped had it. Enough power just didn't have any touch. I think the pitch shot's the way to go here. Full backspin here. Finau's got the gold pitch shot. We can get this one close. That'll play fine. Nine feet remaining here for birdie. This camera is a game changer for simulation. It is so much better. So ball is below the feet. To me, it look, just looks like barely left to right up the slope. And be very aggressive, I think, with this one. Okay, Let's go. at one and four. Get him to two under par here in the early portion of his round. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking, everybody. Cheers! You all know it's coffee here. Look at all the fans. Came to see Tony Finau get an ace here on hole number five. Could you imagine? 180. Gonna be going with the finesse eight iron, probably. In this win, full loft. Take a little bit off of it. This could be the club.
too much. That wind just adds, it takes off the backspin, right? Adds more to the forward row. It's going to bounce more. Oh, he flushed that shot. one, and that just got up in the breeze and took off on him. Now, I, I'm going to pitch again. Usually, I would flop in this position. But I think pitch gives us a great chance to make this shot. Oh, good effort. Never take these short putts for granted. It looks straight. If anything, right to left, a touch. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that in for a par. Finau came ready to play. What do you all think is going to be the winning score of the PGA Championship this year at Oak Hill? What do you all think? What is going to be the winning score? What's going to be the leading score on day one? This Make your predictions right on that, but team. also the final score. Beautiful shot. Got to think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into Point the win. 80 to the front of the green, 210 to the back. This is a tough shot. The wind is ripping. I think we can get kind of aggressive with the approach five iron here. It's a safe shot, right? It's nothing special, but we're on the green. Now this for birdie. Well, there's a fairly significant slope to take into account here. In terms of the break, it is going to move a hair from right to left, so two key things to focus on. Yeah, this break is kind of hard to see. It's definitely right to left, especially at the beginning. It might be the other way, though, towards the middle. It's really hard to see. Got to aim this pretty short because it's going to pick up a lot of speed down the slope. I'm going to go just a little bit outside. I don't think it's breaking much. Yeah, that's not good bad point. at all. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. Well judged, great speed. We'll take our par any day of the week. So some good putting on display. That's an easy tap in for his par. See if we can send it off the tee here. Should be able to stripe this one right down the middle. Perfect tempo, overswing uh -oh. as well. Oh no. So, uh, you should probably oh, pull out the caddy right book. You're telling it to sit down, <laughs> put on the brakes, and it just keeps scooting all the way into the water. Too bad. So, you should probably pull out your caddy okay, book. Okay, so the drop taken, and that will play the course for the first be time. Third now to this par four. Yeah, that that's on me. <laughs> Playing the caddy. 117 uphill quite a bit gonna go finesse we have to plant this one close to par it's not gonna get there I misread the elevation change. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All the above, maybe. It's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Yeah, it was a head scratcher. I agree. We can make this though. Got to chip this in. Frank, Good effort. Have to appreciate that. That is excellent technique right there to get right around Gimme range. Should help him walk away with just a bogey. No Bogeys doubt. are going to happen. Such a tricky green too. So that's very well done. You know, we move on. That was on me, right? I made the mistake. I should have looked at the caddy book. Not too familiar with this golf course, and it showed on that one. <laughs> Great chip, though. We almost chipped it in. Well, it's in the first cut. We know you can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. 126 to the front of the green, 146 to the back. Left with 146 uphill, probably about 20 feet or so. Going to actually go to the knockdown shot here.
be the club. That'll play fine. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Look 29 feet. Birdie. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. Yeah, it's definitely right to left the entire way. It looks like it flat, flattens out a little bit by the hole, but it's uphill quite a bit, probably a couple feet. Got to send this ball. Going to be hitting it so firm, which is going to take some break out of it. One time. Oh, we are reading these greens great. Like, we are reading these greens really well. Okay, can't take cuts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. I'll take a one under first time playing this course on true simulation settings. I will take it. Made that mistake of hitting the water, unfortunately, but you're going to oh. make mistakes, right? I blame the caddy. <laughs> the caddy should have threw that caddy book at me. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Flat foot 175. Uphill quite a bit here. It's a red arrow, so we know it's quite a bit. Don't know the exact. Probably 25 feet, maybe more. Nickel finesse. Seven iron full loft. Miss hit it slightly. That's not ideal. We've had worse, but got this. I part of me wants to spinner shot this. I think that's the way to go. Get in. Oh, I love that shot. You had the line. It'd be an easy tap in par. Need another birdie though. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. Okay, we will take one under on the front as we make the turn here. Let's get let's get to three under. I, I really just want to break even, but I think we can get to three under. Let's not hit it in the water. I was so scared of driving the water that time. You all see that. Good drive down the right side. <laughs> that underswing. If you look up ahead, that flag is cut middle left. So this is a very good angle into this hole. I was scared. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. 134 uphill. I'm going to take the finesse pitching wedge full loft. We should still be able to stop it here. The wind concerns me because it's, it's a side wind, but it's also a t slight tailwind as well. It may add too much distance. And it did not. We're dancing. Yeah, a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. Hey, Noda gave us the read. Yeah, I don't think it's breaking much at all up this slope. A ball or so, I, I think it's going to break a little bit more than that. Go like a couple ball links to the left. Oh! That one just going to sneak on by. So close. I have to say, though, I'm proud of the way we've been reading these greens so far. So that in for his par, and it'll keep him at one under. Like, first round at this course in the game, and playing my first round on simulation? What am I thinking, right? That's a good question. But that's pretty good. 233 to the front, 259 to the back. Let's go four iron, full loft.
Get up, get up. I short swinged it. And I, I took too much distance off of it. You all saw me make that last second correction probably. Took off too much. That's on me. Force knowledge is key, right? Always is key. And we'll get it. Rushed it. The boxing gloves off on that one. No touch whatsoever. And this is a long, long putt coming back. Yeah, so Tony Finau, apparently, according to the commentator, right here. had the boxing gloves out instead of the... <laughs> well, that's You don't want to have boxing gloves out here on the golf course. Looks like it's barely breaking. Left to right, I would say, probably the entire way. Let's take a look from the other side. Yeah. I think, anyways, my instinct tells me left to right slightly. No, oh, not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. It was a double breaker. I think it was straight in, actually. Pretty solid read. Again, we're so close. Cleans that up in the hole. Bogeys are going to happen. Get on and move on. I, we want to at least break even, but remember the I said a few minutes ago, three under, and I still think that's possible. This one's starting a little bit right. Beautiful drive, barely made the fairway, but we did it. Pin in the back left today as he'll stare down this second to the par four. I think the toughest thing about playing the new course for the first time as simulation is not knowing the true elevation numbers. A lot of times, you know, for all the courses, I have a pretty good knowledge of the elevation changes, but for this one specifically, I don't. I want to play this as like 25 feet feet uphill I'm gonna take off about eight yards or so i gonna go to the finesse 50 degree wedge most likely beautiful the underswing killed us though it wasn't beautiful. So close to be with the normal swing, that was perfect. Uh, it wasn't beautiful got at all. To be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. We can pick this one close. Full loft on this pick shot. Send it up. Get it close. This course okay, is tough. Big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. Left to right. Going to be pretty aggressive with this short putt. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Par 5 got a score here. Is that water... Hmm. Is that water in play? We're about to find out. Good thing we struck it perfectly. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. So if you all planned, if you got plenty of coffee or whatever you're drinking today, and you planned for a lot of birdies like usual in my videos, uh, this last coffee today, that's okay. I love, this is what I want, right? This is what I love, the challenge. Up the slope, three wood. Love the club. Go in. <laughs> yes. That's it. Two solid shots right there, Frank. Certainly taking advantage of this par five. Comfortably on for two. That's a golf shot right there. Beautiful golf shot. It's ball is well below the feet steady left to right a lot of break here on this one actually it's up the slope so we can be pretty aggressive come on Finau we need this for eagle everybody you're new here 
one times help me make putts. You can leave them in a comment, say it out loud. If you're not new here, you know what to do. One time. One time for the eagle. Yes! Oh yeah! That's Let's how you go. take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Hey, I have to give you all a lot of the credit for that one. If you were here at this point of the video, 27 minutes in, and you dropped a one time there and out loud, you said one time, drop a comment letting me know you were here and letting me know you, you've you generated that eagle, you legends. I don't think we can get this there, right? Not even on a power drive. I just don't see. I'm gonna, I want to try just to see. Overswing fast. That's about 5%. More. Yeah, it's it's really tough to get there. You can. And it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. In this After wind, you can't. Drive. He'll dig in for a second out of the sand. It's uphill quite a bit into this wind. Did play this pick shot pretty safe? We'll take it. Okay, a good out. And that's what will remain for birdie. Remember the goal, three under. We're at two under right now through 14. Ball is above the feet. To me, it looks like it's right to left at the beginning and then left to right. It's hard to see in this shadow, though. It makes it really tough to see. I think it is a double breaker, actually. I'm going to go straight at it. Or I'm going to go right edge. Yes, a good look at that one all the way in. It's a birdie, but push that score to three under for the round. That is how you play. Eagle birdie here. We are heating up now. 140 to the front of the green. Mid right pin location. 152 down the slope. Or down the hill. Let's go. Finesse nine iron full loft. The wind's going to affect it quite a bit. Wow, that wind ripped that thing. And I think he's saying, boy, that breeze is stronger than I thought. That misses well off to the right of this part. That's three. actually exactly what I was thinking. The announcer is correct. You make this. Oh. So close. I knew I needed the underswing to not send it. That was a really good effort. This looks left to right to me. Not much break. This new camera is so good. This is what we needed. You just couldn't see low before. What a great round of golf. Such a fun first round here at Oak Hill. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. And after you watch this video, you see He'll my score. In Make your prediction on Finau's score. He sets for a second. We're live. Is Finau going to score better than we did playing as Finau? I don't even, I don't even think I could predict what the score would be for Oak Hill. Thank God to go knockdown shot here. I think it's the safest shot. Knockdown seven iron. Without the underswing, it might be in. That's a good shot. And more importantly too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Another green in regulation. Ball is above the feet. To me, it's, it looks like a steady right to left break. It's up the slope, so we can be pretty aggressive here. Going to go about a cup outside. Nope. Broke more than I saw. It's left to right. We just saw this break. Should be a simple putt. 
Okay, no problem with that one. We've been all over these greens, though. I feel like the, the reads have been right on. That's a beautiful tee shot. The wind helped us out, gave us that fade. Rode into the first cut, though. Oh, I like that tee shot. One extra bounce. That's what kicked it into the first cut. Now this, Iona, from just off the fairway. He's got 122 yards to the front of the green. 1-3-3 three, three, the number, all the way to the flag stick. Yeah, the going full off. In the right-hand corner of the green. Yeah, up front pin, going full loft, 50 degree wedge here. I've not been dialed in on these shots here this round, though. That should be just fine. We're putting. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. 17th hole here. We have a birdie chance here. To me, it looks like a left to right the whole way. Less break at the beginning than towards the end. It's off the slope quite a bit, though. And aim at about 33 feet. Get in! Mm, that's a good putt. Just needed a little more behind it. You got to hit it. Perfect line, right? Really good read. Just got to hit it a bit firmer. And that is safely in for his par as he'll stay at three under for the round. Such a fun round of golf, though, here. If we didn't hit it in the water that one hole, got that bogey, we had a couple bogeys. And that will do just fine. Still an incredible round of golf. Second shot, good look at the green. 148, front left pin location here. 148 to the front of the green. Gonna go full lofted. Nine iron here, probably. Just don't land this short. Right. Here we go. Go in. Oh, let's go, Finau. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Eleven feet away. Oh, is it because the tree's in the way? Why can't I? So it won't let me do the view. That's really weird. I don't know what happened. I guess maybe the tree behind us. Yeah, I can't change to the low camera. That's so weird. Yeah, it has to be like the, the tree. It is the tree. Wow, that's weird. A ball is below the feet. Steady left to right, it looks like. You can make this. Finish. Four under par. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. That was a good putt. Didn't see that much break there, but that is going to be a three under. First round at Oak Hill. True simulation settings. What a round. Okay, so that will wind up a par at the last. Let's go. That is a one under on the front with a bogey. And then we had a bogey on 11 on the back. But then 13 and 14, eagle birdie. And we parred the rest. Overall, good round of golf. One under on the front, two under on the back, three under. Now, do you all think Tony Finau is going to shoot better than that in real life? Do you think he's going to shoot worse than that on the Thursday round? If you've already watched the PGA Championship in real life, you already know. Uh, but at the point that I'm recording this video and that this video will be posted, it hasn't happened yet. So I am so pumped for 
PGA Championship this week. So pumped to watch it. And yes, my pick is Tony Finau. Make your pick down below. You all are all legends. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you all got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. I have tons of content on the channel already for EA Sports PGA Tour. Tutorial series, a full career mode series, and a lot of other gameplay videos, including True Sim rounds and arcade rounds. A lot of content for you all and plenty more coming in the future. And if you all did not know this, I have a second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Link in the description to that. Get on over there to my second channel and stay tuned for plenty of content. New videos every single day across the two YouTube channels here, Gamer Ability and Gamer Ability 2. I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.